Hey everyone, this is Sanfan and welcome to the 2K Lab channel. Today we're going to take a look at how you can slow down your opponent's offense with an S tier defensive bat. So in this video, our resident 2K Lab Lock Wolf is going to give you his tips on using Interceptor to defend dribblers and also make sure to, and we would love for you guys to do this, to leave a comment on the Interceptor badge and how you feel about it so we can use it as feedback to 2K and we can also possibly feature your comment in future videos. So let's begin by taking a look on how we got here and how Interceptor has become an S tier defensive badge. So it is true that on boss deals have been nerfed to oblivion and a lot of users feel like we don't have enough tools on the defensive end to adjust to the overpowering offense. However, one defensive badge remained to be absolutely OP and S tier and that is the Interceptor badge as you can see some, in some of these clips. This badge is now the strongest and most reliable defensive mechanic in the game. And that's not just visually, like by the numbers as we have done the test uh, previously, you can see these are the auto success rate on steals and deflections. I stress, these are auto rates. So an auto is already 40 to 60%. If you add in manual abilities, that number gets even higher. And because of this reality, the state of the game on the defensive end has set up to be where puck steals are underpowered and intercept steals are incredibly overpowered. As a result, the most effective method right now on defense is to load up as a team and make sure all of your primary defenders have gold to Hall of Fame Interceptor level badge and play in a zone scheme so you can force the dribbler to pass because it's very hard to do so. With that said though, like granted, the offense is still the more overpowered side here and they have all the tools, it's just defense has to adjust this way because it has become a necessity. Now with that said though, it is not like Interceptor is so OP you can just put it on and then you can lock up everybody right now there's still a skill gap to this badge and we're gonna have wolf break it down to you right now but as the way the game is now interceptor is the way to go so make sure you listen to what wolf has to say here if you want to defend them annoying left right cheese dribblers so coming right up we're gonna have really great clips of wolf breaking down his free essential tips to you on how to properly use interceptor so make sure you add a like to the video and show wolf some love all right so i'm gonna let him take over so a couple tips for you guys uh, if you want to really utilize the interceptor badge to the max potential is um, one thing is like our grip is be willing to rotate. As you can see in a couple clips here, all these steals are basically off rotations. Um, even in the park, you know, like one one clip where the spill boy, the goat, he drops to the paint. I run right to his corner, and the guy throws it right to my hand. So it's like be willing to rotate and make those passing lane plays just to utilize that interceptor. So an another tip that can help you guys too is um, make sure your body is facing um, the ball handler, like, you know, so you have a better chance of getting in the passing lane. Um, a couple ways you could do that is if you're playing Pro-Am, you could put the defense, you could tell the point guard to put the defense into a 3-2 zone. And this allows your body to always be facing the ball handler no matter where you are on the court. Um, in park, you can't do that or rec, unfortunately, but in park or rec, what you can do is, um, if you're playing off ball, you can hold LT, try to shift your body towards the ball, uh, maybe try to backpedal more when you're playing the pick and roll to make sure you're uh, facing the uh, ball handler. Uh, tip number three, too, is use your length. If you're a bigger player, if you're 6'8", six, 6'7", six, um, even a center, you know, use that wingspan, use your length to play the lanes more. Um, as you can see in some of these clips, LeBron is... Uh, who's a great power forward for the Wizards uh, District Gaming. Um, he's using the lanes and using his body to the max potential, you know, making sure to cover as much ground as possible. Um, and he's sometimes, in some of these clips, he's playing two lanes at once, which is mm -hmm. kind of crazy. But he's able to do that just because he is on a bigger player with a longer wingspan. So that allows him to do those things and um, make these plays. So those are like three huge tips, I think, for Interceptor that you guys could use. When playing the passing lanes and you can see how op of a badge it is um i recommend it if you have it no matter what build you're on um to put it as high as possible just because it's kind of like the only way to get steals at this point to be yeah. honest um you know with i'm buck will be in buff pickpocket being nerfed um Sad. you know <laughs> yeah it's tough. you know you need interceptor now these days to try to make some plays on defense mm -hmm. and you can see in these clips you know how how powerful it could be and this was all taken in one game, literally one game. I'll, know, I'll say this game. about about Interceptor. Kind of the, the craziest thing for me is that a lot of the time, the best defense is to also just not do anything. Like sometimes the guys, just with how good Interceptor is, if you're just standing in the lane 
Interceptor is just going to steal that pass for you no matter what. Like right there, LeBron didn't even have to move. He just kind of snatched it clean out of the air. So if you're using Hall of Fame Interceptor and you have that being wingspan, obviously you want to rotate. But also, your opponents are going to make mistakes no matter what. Let them make those mistakes and just be the beneficiary of an easy steal from time to time. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's uh, video, guys. Thank you for joining us. Wolf, as always, the best defender in all of 2K, especially on YouTube. We appreciate the tips and tricks. By the way, check out that Interceptor video. They have a, We have a specific one on the 2K Labs YouTube, so definitely check that, that one out as well for some more uh, tips and tricks on the defensive side. But for now, see you guys next time. Like the video.